All right, guys, now the biggest mistake that I've been seeing people do when they're dipping their wheels is they leave the wheels on the car. Now, yes, you can get by by doing that, but it doesn't look proper, it doesn't look complete. When you look at a wheel that's, that hasn't been taken off the car and it's been dipped, you can see behind it. You can see through the wheel and you can still see silver underneath or whatever color the wheel was. Now it doesn't look that nice. Now the proper way to do it is to take them off the car just like what I've done behind me. Take the wheels off, dip them like this. You've got a much better way to maneuver the wheel and get inside any angles and the barrel of the wheel when you're dipping it. So this way with the wheels off the car, you can get the face of the wheel and you can also get the barrel on the inside of it. Now what that's going to do is, is when you look at the wheel once it's done and it's completely plasti dipped, you're only going to be able to see one color. Now whatever color that might be, red, pink, blue, whatever, it's going to be like that on the face and all the way to the back of the rim. So when you look at it, it looks professionally done. It doesn't look like some amateur just got a spray can and just, you know, cherry bomb it. Now the next thing is cleaning. When you're cleaning your wheels, you want to make sure that you get every single piece of dirt any brake dust, any junk, any anything on the wheel, you want to get all of that off. It's very important to do that because if you don't have it all off, the plastic won't have a good foundation and it won't be able to grab onto the wheel and make it last long. Now if you don't get every little spot, okay, you probably could get away with it, but the thing is, that might not last as long as a job like this. If you take the extra couple hours and put that towards cleaning your wheels, I guarantee it, your wheels will last a lot longer than they would if you didn't. It doesn't take much. All you gotta do is get, get a wheel cleaner, you gotta get brushes, and all you have to do is clean it up. Make sure that there's no dirt. It's not that difficult. After you clean your wheels, next thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that the wheel is completely dry. So there's no water, no nothing on it at all. Because if you leave any water on, again, the plastic it won't stick to it. It'll go on top, and as soon as that water underneath wants to leave, you're gonna have, say, an opening. And then that little opening is going to be a spot where the entire wheel is going to want to peel up over. So make sure you do clean that up. If you don't like masking up the wheel or the tire whenever you're doing your wheels, if you want, what you can do is you can get some tire dressing, put it on an applicator, and then spread it very carefully only on the tire. Now what the tire dressing does is it basically makes a layer in between the tire and the dip you're going to be putting down so that when you go and take off the dip that's on the, uh, on the excess of the tire, it'll come off no problem and it won't even stick. So as I said, you want to get your tire dressing, you want to get an applicator, put some on there, and make sure that whatever you do, you only get it on the tire. Be very careful, take your time, there's no rush. Now I would avoid using any of the sprays, any of the spray tire dressing whenever you're doing this, because the sprays, they're, they aren't very accurate. They're gonna mist all over the tire, especially in places you don't want, like on the rim. Now when you guys are doing this, it's killing two birds with one stone. You're saving yourself from masking up the tire, and also, when you're done this, the tire looks great. When you guys have your wheels here, you're at this stage, and you're ready to dip your wheels, you first want to make sure that you've masked up your valve stems. So what you just do is you have a little piece of tape, put it around the valve stem, Leave it there, and then as soon as you're done dipping the wheels, all you gotta do is just take it right off. Now, if you guys haven't already seen my other dip tip video, I've got it. I'll put it up right here. You can click on the link. It's basically showing you tips and tricks on using spray cans. Now, it's very important, especially if you're doing stuff like this. So don't forget to go check that out. If you guys plan on doing the barrel of your wheel, I suggest doing this first, and then afterwards, doing the face of the wheel. This way, you can make sure you get a nice, good, thick coat all on here, and then where they meet up, the outside and the inside, where it meets up, you can get a very nice, perfect finish, and it's gonna look completely uniform. So after you do your first coat of the barrel, what you can do is you can let it sit, put it down, and then work your way to the next one. Now, I like putting three or four coats down on the inside of the barrel because it makes a nice, perfect finish, and then afterwards, if you want, you can peel it up. So it's thick enough in order to do that. Don't forget to use a face mask, because you will get high. So guys, I just finished up putting the last coat of black plastic on this for a base. Now I'm going to be throwing down another coat, but instead of black, I'm going to be going with a glossifier. The customer wants glossifier for these wheels, so I'm going to show you guys how to put that on. Now if you guys find it difficult to find a good look and see everything that you're dipping, if you want, you can get a light, shine it to whatever you're looking at, whatever it serves, to see if you have everything dipped. Also if you want, you can get one of these. It's a 3M spray trigger that's really used for aerosol cans. 
And if you're doing a lot of dipping, if your forearm starts to hurt, put this stuff, put this thing on the top of them, and it's like a dream. Your wrist doesn't hurt at all, it's such a piece of cake. So I'm gonna let this last coat of black plastic to dry. I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna come back and show you guys how to throw down some Glossifier on your wheels. So guys, when you're using your clear coat or Glossifier uh, on top of these wheels, what you first wanna do is you wanna do one light misting, and after that you're gonna wanna go over with a second coat and you're gonna go thick. Now thick means a wet, a nice wet coat. And I'll show you guys what I mean by that. So the wheel right now, it's covered in a thick coat of black Plasti Dip. Now what we're doing now is we're gonna be throwing down Plasti Dip Glossifier on top, and I've got it attached to my 3M uh, trigger. So give the can a shake, and the first coat you're gonna go light. So test shot, and then a nice miss, nothing too crazy. You want to make sure that you get every part of the wheel, so all the nooks, all the crannies, the outside, the inside, all the little intricate places. One nice light coat over all that. Now the coat after this, we're going to be putting it down a little bit thicker, and that's going to give us our nice glossy shine. For the last coat of Glossifier, or any enhancer that you really put on a wheel, you really want to make sure that your tip is very clean. Now what I like doing for the last coat, I like taking this off, putting it in a thing of lacquer, and then get a new tip and use that. This tip that I'm putting on right now is basically one of these tips that I've got down here that's been cleaned out thoroughly. You can tell that there's no dip on the inside of this or inside the tip. So when you get your last can and you go for your last coat, you're gonna get a very nice, perfect fan pattern, meaning that the finish is gonna look incredible. It's gonna be flawless. Now you don't have to do that, but the thing is, I like doing that only because I can guarantee a perfect finish every time. Now as you guys can see, all the spokes and everything now have a, like a texture-ish kind of look to it. Now that's what you want for your second last coat. Your last coat that you're going to be putting down should be very wet. And the reason why you want this texture is because the wet dip, if you don't put this stuff on there, the wet dip will just run down and you're going to have to start from scratch all because of your last coat. So I like doing a nice coat of like kind of texture. Um, and then the last coat's gonna be wet and it's gonna fill in everything and it's gonna look flawless. I'll show you what I mean. As you can see, I'm going a lot thicker for the second coat here as, uh, as opposed to the first coat that I put down. Now the reason why you want it thick for the second coat and not the first is because you want that reflection. You want that gloss effect to your wheel. Now you can see that I'm really going heavy a lot thicker than the first time. And you can actually start seeing some reflections out of the spokes. Like if you see the spokes I'm doing right here in the middle, you can see the reflection from the can off of the wheel. That's pretty cool. Now I'm doing this for basically the entire part of the wheel. So all the spokes, all the lips, everywhere, getting a nice good coat of Glossifier down. Now I'm making my way and making sure that I get even the insides too. Now the spokes and the lip is basically the most important part that you want to get. When you're looking at the wheel when it's on the car, you're going to be able to see very good reflection out of it. And that's going to make it look very different as opposed to say a matte wheel. So just about to finish up the wheel, got a couple couple more spots to get down left. Now you can see the reflection. Look at, look at the red shirt through the wheel's reflection. It's pretty sick. Now just by looking at it, you can see how reflective the finish should be at the end. Now keep in mind that this is still a wet coat. It's going to dry and it's not going to be this glossy, but it's perfectly flat. When I told you that when you put the tire dressing on the tire, it makes peeling this a lot easier, check this out. So I forgot to press the record button while I was removing the dip from the tire. So this footage is from a different project, however it's the exact same process. To remove the thin overspray that's on the outer part of the tire, grab a tire cleaning brush and start scrubbing. 
So this is a fairly inexpensive brush. It's a mother's tire brush, and I use it to get rid of all that little overspray um, that's on the outside part of the tire. So you just grab it and start scrubbing. All right guys, so I've got the wheels behind me. They're all done, they're all cleaned up. Now to do this job, I used four cans of black Plasti Dip, one can of Glossifier. I used Meguiar's Wheel Brightener to clean the wheels and the rims. I then used a Meguiar's Tire Shine. It's an endurance tire shine. I put that on the outside of the tires. And I also used a 3M spray trigger to get this job done. Now I'm gonna get the camera, I'm gonna bring it in, and I'm gonna show you how they turned out. They look really nice. I hope this has helped you guys out and you know maybe made your wheel project a little bit better, a little bit easier. If you have any questions, post them in the comments down below. I'll be happy to help. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like what you see and you wanna see more, don't forget to subscribe. And again, thanks for watching.